English speaking course. Jim, Anna, and Liz are in the last semester of university life. The stresses are skyrocketing for them. Today, they have a meetup at Liz's house for their group thesis. Oh, my back. It hurts. Poor, Poor you. you. By the way, are you about to finish your part soon, Jim? I guess I can make it by this evening. Bravo, Jim. I'm having a block in explaining the charts of career trends in the U.S. in the next decade. I see. That's one of the hardest parts of our thesis. For my part, I've almost done it. But speaking of careers, what do you want to do after graduation, guys? Why did you ask that all of a sudden? Don't you get nervous thinking about the days ahead? You guys knew me. I wanted to work for big corporations like Walmart, Ikea, and sorts of firms like that. Did you mean working for retail companies? Yeah, isn't it awesome? Selling necessities for people? I choose those companies because every time walking into supermarkets, I always know that I can get what I want to purchase. It gives me a sense of happiness, so I assume everyone feels the same. Customers get what they need. Companies get profits. What an amazing process! Awesome possum, Liz. What about you guys? Tell me more about your dream jobs. I know we talked about this several times. Anna, you always want to start a business. But the question is, what kind of business, my friend? All right, one question at a time, Liz. You look like an eager beaver now. I'm getting things off my chest, but promise me, you two won't judge? We, we promise. promise. My business will be a tech startup company. Let's look at us right now. We are typing down our thoughts. It takes a lot of time. My idea is to create a machine or software so we don't have to use keyboards anymore. All you need to do is focus on your thinking and the machine will take care of the rest. Jim, your back will thank me for this invention. Hmm, that sounds... Clever, Anna. I think you are very creative and you love technology. If people don't call it a perfect combo, I don't know what is. Wait, not so fast, ladies. I promised that I would not judge. But first, what I'm saying next is not judgment, just some arguments. I get it, Jim. Spill the beans. I can handle it. My take is that... Guys, it's dinner time. It's my mom. Let's tuck in, guys. We hope you enjoyed the main dish. We did, Mr. and we Mrs. Hellman. We did, Mr. Hellman. and Mrs. Hellman. Thank you. Thank you. Wait until you eat Mrs. Hellman's dessert. It will certainly blow you up. Right, guys. My mom's desserts are the best. On an unrelated note, how's your studying? Are things good? Yes, we are working on the group assignment in the last subject. So you guys will be graduates, class of 2021. You are on point. What is your dream job? I'd love to hear. Oh, funny you should ask, Dad. We were in the middle of that talk now. You were? Fill me in, kiddos. I want to have my own business. It'll be a technology startup. Sounds fascinating, Anna. What is the name of the superstar tech firms again? Did you mean Apple? Yes. So I read somewhere that the company was just a small startup at first. I think the world of Steve Jobs and Apple is such a great empire. Ditto, Anna. Anyway, it is just a figment of my imagination, no biggie. 
Don't minimize yourself, kids. As they say, no dream is ever too small or too big. How about you, Jim? My dream job is to work for big consulting companies, such as Deloitte or McKinsey. It's nice. It's nice. Very specific, Jim. The clearer your vision is, the easier you can achieve your dream job. Thank you, Mr. Hailman. I have a best friend. He works for Deloitte. Big brain. But when we were younger, he wanted to be an astronaut. How interesting. How interesting. Yeah, people change their dream jobs when they grow older as experiences and knowledge gained. What was your childhood dream job, Dad? You never told me and Mom about it. I wanted to become a doctor so that I could earn a lot of money by helping people, treating their sicknesses. And now you are an accountant. Yes, I realized I work best with numbers, not blood and syringes. He would pass out seeing blood. Strawberry panna cotta is on the house, by the way. Hey, don't destroy my image in front of our daughter's friends. <laughs> you always got our respect. Who's coming in this hour? Oh, Jesus, to what do I owe this lovely surprise visit? I'm in the neighborhood, so I'm swinging by to give you the gift. Thank you, David. <music> Guys, this is my best friend who I've just told you about. Please be seated, Mr. David. We are talking about dream jobs. What words of wisdom do you have for them, old friend? Yes, yes tell us. Yes, tell us. In terms of picking dream careers, you should know why you want to do the job. It might be money, learning benefits, experience, something that motivates you. Before applying for a company, you should make sure you understand the workplace thoroughly. Because... You won't want to be got off your high horse being defeated by your lack of knowledge. What are their core values? What is their working style? Will choosing that job or career pave the way to your long-term goals in life? When I was small, I used to see myself as an astronaut to be when reaching adulthood. However, my elementary teacher once told me that I had it in me to be a master in data and figures. Mathematics is my favorite subject of all time, so I thought my teacher got the point. Plus, who wants to float around in the spaceship with a heavy astronaut hat? It must be tiring, boring, and suffocating. You were wearing that hat all the way through middle school, and I didn't see you complain a word. <laughs> it should be a secret between us, Kelvin. I meant, when it comes to career orientation, finding yourself a mentor is beneficial. Then you also need to know how much money you will earn. Believe me, money is not everything at the end of the day. Remember, kids, money can't buy you happiness, but... It can buy you... Houses? Fancy houses and cars? Clothes? Food? Experiences? Yes, you got it right, Liz. Money can buy you a lot of rewarding time and experiences, like your dinner with your beloved ones tonight. And your delicious panna cotta. 